Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at multi-step equations. It is important you watch part one of this video before watching this one. It's also important you watch the full video for best results. Multi-step equations is used to imply any equation that you need to perform more than one operation in order to solve it. So two-step equations, which we did in the previous video, is actually an example of multi-step equation. Let's use this example to explain it. Two a over seven minus five equals three. Solve for a. The process of solving is nothing different from what we did to solve two-step equations. We want to get the a on one side of the equation. So we have to remove the times two, the minus five, and the divided by seven. We remove them by performing the opposite operation on them. We know from the previous video that the opposite operation of addition is subtraction. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. And the opposite operation of exponent is roots. We also know from the previous video that in order to know which operation to perform first, we will use the reversal of the order of operation. So here is our order of operation. So using the reversal of the order of operation, we will see that we have to do the minus five first. Then we will do the division by seven next. And finally, the times two. We get rid of the minus five by performing the opposite operation on it. So we'll add five to both sides. The five will cancel out. Three plus five is eight. So now we have two a over seven equals eight. We know we will do our division next. We get rid of the divided by seven by performing the opposite operation on it. We will multiply both sides by seven. The seven will cancel out. Eight times seven is 56. So now we have two a equals 56. Finally, we will get rid of the times two by performing the opposite operation on it. So we will divide both sides by two. The two will cancel out. 56 divided by two is 28. Therefore, a equals 28. So here you can see that it's really just like the two-step equation. We are just doing more steps. Let's take another example. 3x squared plus 8 equals 20. Solve for x. Here again, we want to get the x on one side of the equation. In order to do that, we have to get rid of the multiplication by 3, the exponent 2, and the plus 8. We will use the reversal of the order of operation to know which one to perform first. Let's bring our order of operation. So here is our order of operation. In the reversal, we will notice that we have to do the plus eight first. Then we will do the multiplication by three.
and then we will do the exponent too. We will get rid of the plus 8 by performing the opposite operation on it. Subtract 8 from both sides. The 8 will cancel out. 20 minus 8 is 12. So now we have 3x squared equals 12. Next, we have to get rid of the multiplication by 3. We do the opposite operation. We divide both sides by 3. The 3 will cancel out. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now we have x squared equals 4. We finally have to get rid of the exponent 2. We do the opposite operation. The opposite operation of exponent 2 is square root. We find the square root of both sides. This will cancel out. The square root of 4 is 2. Therefore, x equals 2. Hope you are enjoying this video. Please, don't forget to like and share this video. This is the best way you can support the channel. It's important you try a lot of questions. Understanding alone is not enough. Practicing will increase your speed and accuracy. You have to practice at least 20 questions to ensure that you've mastered it and also see all the different tricky questions that can be presented to you on a test. You can get more example videos with the link in the description. Please don't ignore this. We will end this video here. In the next video, we want to look at cases in which you have your variable on both sides of the equation. For example, 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 8. Have a great day. Goodbye.